Hello everyone! So in my previous video, if you watched it, I was coloring these cupcakes. These are from Sentimentally Yours Celebration Collection. So we colored those up and then I thought we're gonna make a little card um, with those cupcakes. So over here I have 5 by 7 card blank and then my next layer is four and three quarter inches by six and three quarter the breeze blue from sentimentally yours uh, then next layer is four and a half by six and a half inches and then i did cut in with Stitch torn rectangle dies. These ones here. And I did use, uh, I'll tell you exactly which one. Fourth smallest one. Okay, to cut the frame out. Uh, also, because it did look a little bit too plain at first, um, I did emboss this layer with double double diamonds embossing folder okay so give it a little bit texture then we are going to be using these are scraps do not throw away your scraps i have lots of scraps in here <laughs> different ones okay you can definitely use those so this one in particular is texture dye wire wire texture dye okay and this is going underneath it like so uh, then for sentiments i've used stitch torn circles these ones and I have used uh, second smallest to cut this one and for this one I did use fourth smallest and I'm just gonna layer them on top of each other um, more likely using some foam tape so these are gonna go here and then our cupcakes are gonna go somewhere here okay and that is gonna be a nice little birthday card okay so for sentiments i'm gonna be using um trash chic mandala circle frames and mini sentiments okay and I will be using Happy Birthday to you. Okay. So if you haven't watched my previous video of coloring these cupcakes, um, you can click the link, make yourself a cup of tea, and just sit back and watch. Okay, so let's start with this card. Uh, we're gonna start by layering this layer on top of our card blank. And I'm using Sentimentally Yours PVA glue. So let's do that first. And you can put it on a foam tape if you want. I just thought that I will put next layer on the foam tape. Okay. So this is going to be just make sure your card opens the right way. Um, let's have a look. So we have even space. All around okay. 
and it does take a little bit for glue to grab to the card so just be patient with it okay so that's that done next we're moving to this layer and i'm gonna glue this texture die first die cut so just making sure which corner i want it it's gonna go here like so so i'm just gonna use glue again just a little bit only need a little bit this so make sure it's the right way down <laughs> okay and just place it you don't really need much glue for these then this layer is going on the foam tape uh, i'm using two millimeter foam tape All around okay doesn't fit there doesn't fit there never mind never mind so what you can do is measure it cut it and then cut in the middle it's easy enough to cut it okay and then this piece is going on this side this piece is going on this side okay all good so this is going on top going to give us a little bit of a dimension which is nice always nice to have some sort of dimension on cards make sure you are even from all sides so i'm gonna have to stand up for this If you want a little bit of wiggle room, wiggle time, then you can always put a little bit of your PVA glue on the back of the foam tape. That way you're going to have a little bit of time to wiggle it around. Okay. So that looks good. So now to our sentiments. I will stamp this happy birthday to you sentiment and I am using uh, sentimentally yours acrylic block for this they're so nice and ergonomic you wouldn't believe wow uh, they're brilliant and you get a set of three larger one medium size they fit in the hand really nice and the small one which is really handy to have uh, so for sentiment because we have a blue card i didn't really want to use uh, nocturne versafine claire nocturne so i decided to use versafine claire blue bell okay so just gonna stamp sentiment 
it is a circle so you don't really have to worry about it too much okay that is perfect perfect so i'm not sure how about you but i do clean my stamp after i do like to clean them it takes only a few seconds okay now next this one is going on foam tape on the foam tape to give us a little bit of dimension okay on top of this one Try to center it. Okay, that looks good. Then back to our card. It will go in this corner. And shall we do this on the top? Or underneath? Tuck it underneath. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Say we tuck it underneath. So I'm going to use glue for this one to glue this one down okay glue this one down put it in and just hold it a little bit just hold it a little bit just few seconds few seconds is gonna be enough then to our lovely little cupcakes I'm thinking uh, do something like this so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stack them together first So just making sure there. So over here. So I need a little bit on the side. A little bit of glue. Come on, glue. Okay. That's it. Okay, and all this is going with a glue gel. So this is a pin flare glue gel I'm using. Okay. What are my tweezers? Um, tweezers. Tweezers from Sentimentally Yours. Really handy. Okay, and all this is going on the glue gel to give us a little bit more dimension. Who doesn't like a good dimension on cards? Okay. There you go. Perfect. Okay, we are almost done. 
the last thing I'm gonna do is glitter around the edges and I'm gonna be using my favorite favorite moon dust look at this it is absolutely fabulous so I'm just gonna go around the edges with the glue come on glue doesn't have to be neat and this glue dry dries clear so you're not gonna see it all you're gonna end up with is a glitter so a little bit of glue around the edges around the edges Little bit over here can't get under the cupcakes I probably should have done it before I did glue cupcakes um, and then I'm thinking how about a little bit of glitter on cupcakes just a little bit of glitter there and also here A bit on the flower why not okay I do love moon dust glitter so much it's definitely my favorite definitely I use it on almost every card <laughs> okay so that's a glitter around now on our cupcakes that's it now i have a little bit of something on here which i don't want but that's fine i'm gonna take just gonna take a brush and brush it off okay put glitter back in the pot before you knock it over you don't want that to happen put the lid on back and here we are birthday card you can't see glitter much at the moment but when the glue is gonna dry it's gonna look really nice here we are thank you for watching bye